Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how to manage cash flow in your dropshipping business, right? So dropshipping business obviously has less, um, you know, you, you need to invest less into it because uh, compared to like regular e-commerce business where you have to buy stock and everything like in big box and you have to ship it and stuff, but still it has uh, oftentimes like cash flow issues. So I want to show you exactly how to, um, you know, how to eliminate those issues, how to minimize them and how to improve your cash flow so you can scale as quickly as possible. A lot of people talk about scaling, but scaling takes a lot of cash, right? So I want to show you exactly how to uh, get those like extra levers uh, so you can basically leverage them and scale your business faster and more profitably. So let's get started, guys. By the way, if you're looking for help with scaling your e-commerce business to the next level, your job sharing business, your Facebook ads, click on the link below, apply for a free strategy session where we'll show you exactly how to do that. We'll basically work with you and uh, scale your business to the next level. So uh, click on the link below, apply for a free strategy session. We'll see if we can help you. We'll see if it's a good fit. People, they care about profits, right? Uh, with with dropshipping, that's good. But at the same time, a cash flow is even more important than profit, right? And for example, um, you know, one of the studies like it found that 82% of businesses, they fail because of uh, poor uh, cash flow management skills. So, which means like, for example, you're spending more money than you know, that comes into the business, right? And, you know, if that's kind of like, you know, few the few days apart or like few few, uh, few weeks apart, right? Where, for example, you should receive the money, but you need to spend money today, then you have the cash flow problem, right? And oftentimes, you know, with, with e-commerce, with dropshipping business specifically, is um, you might have some of these like bottlenecks, right? Where you have, uh, your inventory, right? Let's say if you on that stage where you are investing into inventory and let's say you you spend like ten thousand dollars on an inventory and it's shipped from China to United States and it takes extra like uh, I don't know three weeks for example to produce the items and then to ship them right like you have three weeks where your your cash is basically stuck there right but you still, um, you know, you still have other expenses in your business, right? You still have to maintain your like day-to-day -day activities, right? That's why it becomes, you know, a cash flow issue. And so there are a few solutions for that and I'll explain exactly how to basically sort this out. Um, other thing that, you know, might be an issue is like, for example, payouts from, from Stripe, right? Like Stripe um, in a lot of the countries, like the payouts, um, are like seven days, which is ridiculous. Like seven days is like very low payout time. Um, whereas like in the United States, it's like same day or like next day, it's very fast payouts. But in some countries, it's like seven days. So let's say you get sales today and obviously, you know, Facebook gives you this kind of like threshold how you, where, where you need to pay for the ad spend. But for example, let's say you, you, you get a sale today and you need to uh, to pay for the ad for the ad spend also today, just in this example. But then you you only get your money back, you know your 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 money from the sale within seven days, right? So you have this delay in cash. So it does not allow you, for example, if you see good metrics today and you see okay, so I should spend more on advertising, then you should get you should get that money like as quickly as possible. You should get that money today, yesterday, uh, sorry, uh, tomorrow max because then you can invest more into business and scale it faster. Then, uh, so find another solution. So um, find another solution for payments. Blue Snap is, is one of the solutions you can test it out. Um, then um, pay certify, depending on what country you're in, but find another solution basically for merchant processing if your um, payouts are like seven days or even more. Then vendor payments, right? So you have Facebook ads, you have your other vendors, let's say you work with someone to work on your videos, on your content, employees, um, like, you know, kind of like all of these, all of these kind of like accumulate, all of these you have to pay, right? And again, if you get delayed sales, if you get delayed like payouts, if your cash is not coming into your business, right, then it becomes a cash flow problem. And then salaries, um, so salaries to employees, obviously, they want to get paid, you know, um, they, they need to be paid like every single month, right? Um, so that's another consideration, right? So people talk about scaling, right? But scaling without proper like cash flow management, cash flow planning is like just destined to, to, to cause you a lot of problems. Then the suppliers, right? So 
um, for example, you need to pay for your suppliers for your items. Some suppliers will give you like, um, you know, 30, 60, 90 days delay, right? Depending on kind of like your relationship, your volume. And so that becomes kind of like this kind of like boosted that, you know, allows you to operate during this time frame without paying for the items. So you can sell the items, you can get the cash flow back, you can have some money to reinvest, whereas, and then only like the 30, 60, 90 days, um, you know, pay the, uh, your uh, supplier back. Now, so you need to can negotiate with your supplier on getting better terms for the, um, for your arrangement, especially if you've been doing like good volume, then oftentimes they'll be open to cooperate with you and make it, uh, you know, kind of like worthwhile for you and worthwhile for them. Whereas, for example, they would give you like 30 or 60 days buffer where like you don't have to pay them for items. You can basically just have this extra cash flow to reinvest into your business. Now, another one is restricted accounts on Stripe, uh, Stripe and PayPal. I have another video of my channel, guys. Check it out um, where I talk about the PayPal and how to basically uh, eliminate uh, the issues with PayPal, how to basically make sure that your um, PayPal account is good standing, you don't have reserves, you don't have issues, they, you know, they work with your business properly, you have good relationship with them. So please check it out if you, uh, if you need any assistance on that. So what's cash flow management? So and what is cash flow, right? So cash flow is amount of money, cash and non-cash, traveling in, uh, into and out of business. Right, so positive cash flow is more money coming in than going out, and negative one is less coming in than a business needs to cover outgoings. Right, so for example, you get, let's say, you get like hundred thousand uh, dollars, you know, into business today, right? And for example, um, like in one month, like in three days, you need to pay like two hundred. Then you have cash flow issue, right? And to calculate cash flow, business takes note of the cash available at the beginning and at the end of a specific period, let's say like a month and that, um, or like a week. And then um, the business will have a positive cash flow if there is more in the account at the end of the period than uh, when the period began and less, uh, that would indicate a negative one, right? So let's say you had $100,000 in the account in the, at the beginning of the month and then at the end of the month, you have only 50, right? Then you have like negative cash flow, right? So getting good at cash flow management is one of the best things you can do in your business. Not only that, it's a skill that will uh, carry over, um, you know, into your other uh, ventures as well as your own uh, personal finances. Now, important thing here, guys, um, what I'm seeing, like, especially for e-commerce, it's like very, you know, it's quite a cash flow intensive business, right? That's why. I recommend you have some type of consulting business or like services business that is very cash cash flow positive, right? Pretty much the only expense there is your time or like your effort, but you get paid and um, it's pretty much just pure profit, right? So for me, for instance, like we operate um, an agency and we also do consulting, right? That's pretty much helps with, with our cash flow that we need for our e-commerce business. And I recommend you do the same. Like I, I even have like, uh, even though some of the successful e-commerce, you know, entrepreneurs are running like eight figure businesses and pretty much they, they do some consulting, right? They do some consulting, they help other businesses out. So they pretty much use those like opportunities to generate extra positive cash flow with their time and effort to support their business, right? So I highly recommend that you explore this option. If you have some skill set that you can help other businesses with, maybe you have a commerce business that's quite successful, you're good at operations, you're good at marketing, you're good at, um, you're good at something, maybe not even e-commerce, maybe you had like good career, successful career with something, then you can leverage those skills that you already have, help other people and help your cash flow to scale your e-commerce business. I highly recommend you explore this option if you're facing some cash flow um, issues and just overall just to supplement your finances and just make your income as high as possible. So the difference between cash flow and profitability. Now, cash flow is not the same as profitability, right? So profitable business can still be unable to pay its bills, right? And similarly, just because a business is meeting all of its financial obligations doesn't mean it's profitable, right? So for example, um, you know, like but basically profit is like an accounting term, uh, like it only matters on papers, like it's only measured on paper. And, um, you know, it doesn't, uh, doesn't tell you a whole lot about how business is getting by day to day, right? So 
cash flow is all about timing, right? So for example, you might be profitable over the course of the month or a year, but not specific day of the week. If your bills are due at the beginning of the month, but you won't have any money in the bank until the end of the month, then you've got a cash flow problem, guys. And even if it's like at the end of the month, you made more uh, than you've spent, right? So here's the deal with the profit. Like if you're not profitable on paper, you're in bad shape. You like either need to increase your revenue or decrease your expenses if you want to stay in business. You know, that's that's kind of, you know, just logical, right? And then um, just because you're profitable doesn't mean that your business can run on autopilot, right? And also you need to monitor your cash flow, especially if you're growing and especially as I mentioned at the beginning, it's like if you're evolving into that business where you um, where you having stock, where you having kind of like inventory, that will that will take a lot of your cash flow. That will take a lot of the cash available out of your business because you'll need to invest a lot of money into something that just you know stuck in the warehouse. Now, how to forecast and manage cash flow? So the cash flow spreadsheet is an outline of where your cash is going. So it shows you where the cash, um, when the cash will be coming in and when. Uh, it will be going out and it's a great way to visualize cash flow and to adjust your approach, right? So what is cash flow statement? So cash flow statement is an account of cash flowing in, to, uh, in and out of the business uh, over an accounting period like months, a quarter, a year, uh, but also you can see like for any other period. And the statement shows you the business, uh, how the business um, use the cash flow uh, generated during the time uh, that report covers. So. First, uh, first step is basically forecast expenses, right? So whatever business you do, like just, okay, so how much how much in, in budget do I need to basically jumpstart this business or to basically operate my business for another month? So just lay out all of your financial obligations, your like salaries, vendors, software, like all of this stuff, you know, like uh, loan repayments, anything that comes out of your bottom line and write down what the expense is for, how much is it, and when it's due. And you, you probably will forget a few things, so review your bank and credit card statements to see what other expenses you find, right? Maybe you'll find some things that, oh, I mean, I've signed up for that like, uh, you know, like three years ago and I'm still paying for it, right? You might find something like that. Step number two is forecast revenue. It's, it will be like, uh, you know, tricky typically, for especially for dropshipping businesses where you, for example, you're testing you know, it's still that stage where you're testing products. It will be difficult for you to predict. The more established your business, the easier it is for you to predict it. And so one thing that helps with projections is to look at the past data, right? In many cases, your sales from this week, one year ago will be accurate uh, than your sales last week, right? For example, uh, your sales in September or October, like last year, will be similar to what you get like this, you know, this week, because there are like annual cycles, for example, Q4 and seasonality, right? If you believe your sales will grow over over like last year, you can increase the amount, but it's important to be conservative to avoid, you know, again, having the cash flow issues, right? And then plug in your data, right? So I'll share with you the, uh, the cash flow projection template. So here, Basically, uh, you can you can as you can see this is like uh, created by Shopify. You can you can just save it into your um, you can just save it into your if you click here, make a copy, right? Or you can like also add it to to your drive, and then also how to use the spreadsheet here, right? So basically, you can read some of these materials, and so basically, let's say you have like sales source. Let's say you have like Amazon. Let's say you have Shopify. Let's say you have I don't know, maybe you have some offline sales, right? Like you could just put them, put them here, right? And then cash out what other expenses you have, right? So you, you will see basically where you are in this whole equation, right? So you can see basically everything is broken down. Everything is here. You can add new, uh, you can basically add new um, kind of like lines here, right? So this is template by Shopify. Uh, feel free to copy, it's like free to use. Uh, copy it for yourself and uh, use it, right? So now, guys, this is this is very important to, to fill out like on a on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis. Personally, I'm not I'm not uh, you know I'm not a huge fan of like uh, you know spreadsheets and stuff. Um, but 
you know, I, I realize it's very important. So we fill out like these spreadsheets for, for our business, like on the, on the regular basis, on a daily basis, I see kind of like what results we're getting, where we are, uh, whether we are negative, whether we are positive. Um, and so this is very important to fill out. So either you do it or give it to someone like your virtual assistant or your executive assistant so they can fill it out. And you can always have a complete picture of what is happening in your business, whether you're profitable, whether you have positive cash flow or not. So basically get a complete, complete picture of your uh, business. So this is it guys for this video. This is uh, basically how to manage cash flow in your dropshipping business. Also will apply to e-commerce business as well. The same principles, uh, the same template. So just make sure that you have the good uh, cash flow, make sure you're profitable and you will do very well. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, again, if you're looking for help with scaling your e-commerce business, there is a link below in the description. Uh, click on it, apply for a free strategy call with my team. We'll see how we can help you, whether we're a good fit to helping you scale to the next level with your business. If you are looking uh, for more videos, just let me know in the comments what topics you want us, uh, you want me to cover. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, um, subscribe to my channel.